thanks for joining me. We're going to do a quick video on replacing a speed control switch, otherwise known as a potentiometer. Uh, this is a 1994 Easy Go Marathon that I have done over. I'll put the description uh, below, the link below to the complete rehab I did on this. But this is just for the potentiometer. A uh, couple people had some questions and I decided to do a video on just this. So I didn't uh, take a video while I was changing it. But here's a device right here. Uh, you can see that when the, um, sorry about that, when the pedal is pushed, I don't know how well you can see that, but that goes down, okay? And that's what gives you your power to your, um, you know, electric motor. So um, my end, when the pedal was all the way down to the floor, the old one, it completely um, stopped the cart because it was giving out too much um, wattage or ohms or whatever it gives out. So uh, that uh, I replaced. I bought that part online on eBay. It was $79, I believe, and it completely fixed the problem. So one question people have is the old unit, and let me go get that uh, old unit real quick. Um, the old unit, which you will see over here, has a um, white and black wire coming out of it. Okay, you see that right here? You get your white wire and your black wire. Okay, so this was sitting in like that one, just like that. That's the old one. Of course, it's all dirty and stuff. So that's how that was sitting. So um, the new one, as you can see, comes with a brown and blue wire. So a big question that people had was, well, which one goes where? Uh, so the brown wire goes to where the white wire went. This happens to be um, where the white wire went on my particular year. And this is where um, the black wire went, okay? And then it comes down over here. I'm not going to be able to show you this, but, you know, everybody's setup is different. But that's a speed control switch, okay? It also goes to the forward and reverse switch, which is right here. That's your forward and reverse switch, okay? So, basically, that's it. I mean, it's a little bit tricky to get to. The screws are, are back here, and you can't get a screwdriver in there cleanly. So, you got to kind of fiddle around with getting that off with this two screws up there and then there's one screw uh, down below so um, so that's that's a little bit better look so if you can watch when I press I'm pressing the gas right now you can see it goes down then it goes back up so that's how that works um, I also replaced the solenoid but uh, we'll get into that some other time so okay hope all is well with everybody bye